talking about. Well, I'm the one that talks about these wars that are 19 years and people are just there. And don't kid yourself, you do have a military industrial complex. They do like war. You know, in Syria with the caliphate. So I wipe out 100% of the caliphate. That doesn't mean you're not going to have these crazy people going around blowing up stores and blowing up things. These are seriously ill people. I don't want to say, oh, they're wiped out, you know, ISIS. But I wiped out 100% of the caliphate. I say, I want to bring our troops back home. The place went crazy. They want to keep, they, you have people here in Washington. They, they never want to leave. I say, you know what I'll do? I'll leave a couple of hundred soldiers behind. But if it was up to them, they bring thousands of soldiers in. Someday people will explain it. Well, this but, is an but example. You do have you do have a group, and they call it the military industrial complex. They never want to leave. They always want to fight. No, I don't want to fight. But you do have situations like Iran. You can't let them have nuclear okay. weapons. You just can't let that happen. So, I gave the generals. I said, "Go ahead. You got one year. See what you can do in Afghanistan." Oh. So they fight and fight and fight. Jesus. But, you know, we've taken it way down in Afghanistan. I don't know if you've seen that, Steve. We've taken it way down. Now, it's a rough place. It's a bad place. A lot of bad things happen. The World Trade Center bombers were sort of... That's like the Harvard University right. of terrorism, okay? If you want to be a terrorist, you go over there, okay?